краса на ну на на just dance with me краса ну 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 на на краса ну Oh, I'm still Jesse from the block. You know I got the keys to the lock. I'm my daughter Nuji. I just do me. Now nah, we do up the gupchi. Wake up, blessed, looking fresh. Got that on my chest. Sigh up and give me the little burlito hate. No red lights on. Olympic dead oh hate. <laughs> All my Korean viewers unsubscribed. I don't speak Korean. Cringe. <laughs> I know you might not believe it from that intro, but hi, my name is Austin. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. I studied vocal performance and songwriting at Berklee College of Music. Yes, I got a college education to do that. Um, <laughs> and this is your daily Mamamoo reaction. At this point, it's basically just Mamamoo people who are already familiar with this. So, um, yeah. We're fine. This is a safe space. Um, yep, this is my Friday Mama Moo reaction. Let's see what I find. Okay, sorry if you can hear noise and stuff in the back. Um, it's cold and it's winter and the heater just turned on. And um, I started getting into Red Velvet yesterday. And uh, apparently Moonbeal has a song featuring Selgi of Red Velvet. So I guess it's Moonbeal's song featuring, yeah. So I'm expecting a, moon, a Moonbeal song, not a Red Velvet song. So, all right, let's go. Yes, Moonstar. Wait, what does that say? What does that say? You have been something, your destination. Oh. Ma'am. The visuals, first of all, I've never seen her, like, showing that much skin. Um, there is a lot of auto-tune on her vocal, which is for style, because she doesn't need the auto-tune, but they're putting it on there for the style, so... Yes. Okay, Selgi. Selgi's voice is very interesting i think i was mixing her up with wendy or maybe they both but her voice is very um what's the word shrill but not in a bad way it's just very piercing it's like um it's like an instrument it just cuts through everything else it's it's overpowering i guess but her tone is actually really nice yeah do you hear how much brighter selgi's voice is than moonbeal's moonbeal has a pretty dark voice um and selgi has a very bright voice so in this case, they don't really balance each other out. Selgi's voice is just more prominent. It stands out much more than Mubiel's. Yes. Okay. Bop. 
ぱ。Okay, the song has a good message. Like, it's okay to be selfish. Oh, hey, green screen. I like this song. Are those hot wheels? <laughs> Forever young. Okay. Hey. I will say the writing in this is not as good. I mean, it's very basic. Let me know. I don't know if Moonbeal wrote that, but Moonbeal's writing is typically deeper than that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Moonbeal is my bias. She's so cute. Um, hold on, let me find out who wrote that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love that. Um, it was good, it was catchy enough, it was just kind of forgettable. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion. I prefer Moonbeal's solo stuff like Absence, Eclipse, and In My Room. Those were all very well written. Um, they showcased her vocals better. Uh, this feature, in my opinion, just, it just kind of felt blah. And maybe it's because I'm not, like, obsessed with Red Velvet yet, but no, it's not that. The song is just, it's not good enough for Moonbeal and Selgi. Like, they're both iconic. They're both incredible. When they come together, it should have been like 10 times more. It should have been more aggressive. Moonbeal should have been like spitting harder. And I, I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite. So that's my opinion. You're obviously free to love it. You're obviously free to thumbs down the video, whatever. <laughs> I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion and I'll go back and listen to it again just to, I don't think it's gonna, no. All right, next. I guess you're getting a double dose of Moonbeal this week with Moonbeal Monday and now, <laughs> Moonbeal Friday, so um, clearly my bias this week. Um, everyone was telling me to listen to Mirror, and since I just listened to Selfish, I'm going to also listen to Mirror, and I'm going to tell you if I like it more than Selfish, I'm going to just give you my thoughts and opinions. So let's go. Oh. Yes. Yep. This is it. This is it. This is why I don't think Selfish was as good because this has great writing. It's more Moonbeal style. And of course, artists can have different styles. You can make happy songs, you can make sad songs. But this feels more authentic. Um, the writing is better. It's got a darker sound, which fits Moonbeal's voice better. And um, yeah, it's also just my personal preference. I like the song more already and I'm only 48 seconds into it. Mm -hmm. 
Relatable. Man, she's really hard on herself. I think this is my favorite Moonbeal song so far. Oh. You made me pathetic. Man, this is an emo song. It just feels hopeless. Man, who hurt her? <laughs> well, we love you, so stop. I hate this song, but I also love this song. Like, it's very relatable, but I hate that she felt that way. All the moon was just want to give her a hug. Yeah, that's the moon bill I prefer. Um, I don't know. She just, she does such a good job, right? I just realized my hood's been up this whole time. Um, she does such a good job writing emotionally charged songs and that song was perfect it had some rap in it um so you could see like her swag and her delivery but it had the incredible writing it had the really delicate good vocals and it was just like an emo bop so like yes this is everything i loved this and this just further proves the point that the song selfish is just it's not my jam it's really not my jam. Um, it probably would have been better if Hwasa sang it or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, Moonbeal. Whew. All right. Controversial video. I apologize. Um, but just my opinion. So whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we're like less than a week away from travel. So I hope you guys are all excited and hyped. And um, I hope you get enough sleep because... Uh, it's going to be a lot. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.